Hi folks, well we wasn't going to do a part 2 to this video but we had to do it because one of our viewers left a comment below and he said that the vacuum hoses were actually on the wrong way. I double checked it with some uh, Google Images images and let's see, he's right, let's have a look. Right, Josh left a comment there and he's obviously, uh, he's got one of these and as I say, we've had to take for granted that the hoses, the way they was plumbed in, uh, was in the correct location. So all we've basically done is show you what we've done. And that's the beauty of the internet, where there are knowledgeable people out there, and they do comment. And I've checked what Josh has said. He's obviously got greater knowledge than me. And yes, it does appear that the vacuum hoses are on the wrong way. If this is plumbed in the wrong way, which it looks like it is, then that would answer the question as to why he can't clear the fault code. So let's just show you what we've got to change. Right, now that's probably as near as I can get you. Yeah, what we've got here, as you probably know, this is our actuator valve up here. This is our electrical connector with three uh, vacuum pipe connectors here. And underneath it, right down in the depths underneath, that is our actual recirculation valve down there, the new silver one, as you can see what we've put in there. Now the hose connections, which uh, Josh had correctly identified, and I'm trying to show you a bit better now, is this one going to the actuator goes to the top, which is correct. This one at the back here goes round and picks up to the other side of the turbo, which is correct. Underneath the electrical connector, there is another spout. And we've got, we've got the hose which comes around here from the back of the turbo, which should go on underneath the third connection down there, as you can probably see. But we haven't got it going on there. We've got it going on to our recirculation valve. So this hose has got to come off and this has got to be resituated onto the bottom of our, just underneath our electrical connector there. And the hose that we've got coming on from the electrical connector, this one here, that's the one that should be going onto the recirculation valve. So we're gonna have to change that over. So we're gonna try and change them over now. So we'll see you after we've done that and then let's see what we've got. Right, okay, lucky enough, we didn't have to take anything apart to do that apart from pull the electrical connector out the top. So we've got that done now. Right, let's just try it out. Right, okay, so we're just gonna give it one more try. Um... That feels all right, doesn't it? Yeah. There's no lag there, was there? But again, there was no lag, real lag yesterday. Or did you say it didn't quite feel right after you drove it for a bit? This morning it felt a bit sluggish, but it feels all right again now. Right, we've got to be careful here because the ground's a bit wet and he knows when you accelerate something like this hard it, uh, it's quite liable to spin the wheels. things that you do get is as I say other people comment in and whatever but we've had two or three people look at this car and even been back to the was it a Vauxhall dealer you got it from they were a specialist and they was a Vauxhall specialist and they said the lag was probably due to someone having it remapped didn't they yeah so Obviously, when the experts look at it, you obviously naturally take, take for granted that what they've done, or what they've done or checked or whatever, is all going to be correct. And it just goes to show that that not, isn't necessarily the case. So, thanks to one of our eagle-eyed viewers there, who's uh, noticed the video, and that's the one of the other things that you, you don't get in a, a forum as well. That's why I do enjoy doing these videos, so that if we are doing something or if, they, if people spot something which isn't correct, who have got greater knowledge, or more knowledge in this actual subject we're talking about, it's a great place for a, a follow-up video, which is what we're doing now, to show where the uh, problem has been corrected, rather than me not actually just show you this. I could have just left it like that, and just assumed that other people would have not noticed. But uh, no, we found the problem. 
we found an issue and we've put that issue in a second video and hopefully now you and I have got a greater knowledge of this part of the uh, the VXR's engine and system and that you can obviously try and avoid any other issues and make sure what you've got is correct. So that's the problem hopefully solved now and one thing I think one of the other commenters Michael who uh, I think he had the VXR engine uh, Zafira if I remember right now I might be wrong correct me if I'm wrong Michael you said that part that Gary bought isn't a very good one yeah it's only 25 pounds I know you can spend up to 170 pounds on them but because this has been a constant problem ongoing problem Gary didn't really want to spend a lot of money to try and prove that this uh, item was the problem so He's got the cheat one, it appears to have done the job now and that is the beauty of uh, having the comment section underneath when you get proper comments, not comments from blinking idiots or whatever but that was a great comment there and um, hopefully now that will benefit you so there you go. So that thing, the electrical connector was called the Turbo Solenoid by the way. Anyway, hope this was from you here and the problem now has disappeared because Gary woke up this morning, took the car out for a drive and he done more of a test drive than what we did yesterday and he said when you're going along speed and feathering the throttle and then give it some acceleration which we didn't do yesterday but we just sort of give it a burst from standing start so to speak and he said that's when it was sort of lagging still that has now totally disappeared the problem's now cured and it just goes to show you that garages don't necessarily have all the answers and this has been seen by many experts and it's probably been like that for, for well the length of the time that Gary's had it so we took it for granted that the hoses were correct. Just shows you, you can't always take for granted what the experts tell you. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Until then, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye for now.